Breaking news, first alert weather, live local coverage. This is News 10 at 5. We are one week into the major construction project on US 127 from I-496 to I-96. It's already causing headaches for drivers and more. Good evening, I'm Amaya Kaznicki, in for Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Now in this case, the more is the businesses suffering from a drop in customers. News 10's Deanna Giles is live tonight in East Lansing with the impact this construction is having on local businesses. Deanna? Hi, Amaya and David. I am here near the Trowbridge exit in East Lansing, the one and only exit that people take to visit a lot of the local businesses in the area. Now, while these businesses say the roads are in desperate need of repair, it's making it difficult for customers coming to shop and eat. We're telling them don't take any Trowbridge exits and don't plan on any Jolly Road exits being open either. Local businesses serving the community now feeling the pinch due to construction. Vicki Brown, a stylist at New Style Salon, says the construction impacts their walk-ins more than those who schedule an appointment. It takes longer because they're taking secondary roads through town and then there's all that extra traffic. Kevin Nguyen at Elegant Nail Salon feels the closure of Trowbridge Road and construction is impacting small businesses, reducing the amount of customers they serve. They always get off the same exit, so it's kind of hard for them to get here. So I think that's one of the things that kind of uh, discouraging them to come to this way while construction going on. So we kind of kind of help them maneuver and show them around as a uh, shortcut to get to here. A lot of that interchange when we have multiple ramps open during construction like that, that's where you see interaction between motorists that becomes less safe than what we'll have out there right now. So we kind of took uh, the lesser of all the evils. Christopher Gimble with the Michigan Department of Transportation says there's a lot of ramps that have a sharp turn. So ramps like Trowbridge will be widened, making them safer for drivers. The roads are going to be greatly improved and from a safety standpoint, from a, a longevity standpoint. Everybody knows how bad these roads need to be fixed and none of us want to go through the pain, but it's what we have to do because we want to fix those roads. Now, MDOT says there are several ramps in the interchange that need to be either reconstructed or rehabilitated, and those should be done by December of this year. Now, once the northbound project is completed, starting in 2025, traffic will be pushed onto northbound so that the southbound project can get underway. Live in East Lansing, Deanna Giles, News 10. Thank you, Deanna. Now here's a live look at our Jackson Sky Cam tonight. A chilly night in mid-Michigan. First alert meteorologist Andy Provenzano is here. The look at our forecast. Hi, Andy. Hi, Amaya. A little blue sky in parts of Jackson. All trying to get a peek of that uh, tomorrow.